Hi guys, welcome to Print Right. I'm your host Sanveer and today we came up with a new video. In this video, we are going to show you how to do, means how to adjust your screen by doing multiple colors before exposing. Means before exposing, we need to put the film in the exact position in every frames we do and how to adjust it. Because if you put a flame up, down, here, there, it won't match in your machine at the time of printing. So the flame should be in the same place. So we'll try to explain you in a simpler way how to adjust the frames in the same point or same exposing points. So guys, we are the delay. Let's start the video. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you are already subscriber, like us comment us so that we we get motivated to make better videos again and again so guys then if you want to start your printing journey feel free to call the number in given the screen and if you want more information you can visit our website printright.com so guys let's start the video so guys we are ready with the frame see this is the frame uh, we are going to do the expose not expose give you an example we're taking a plain screen because we, if you coat it, you won't able to see uh, from true and true. So that, that's why we have taken a wide screen. But this is an example video to give you the knowledge how to do. It's not a full video, but you will come to know the knowledge. And this is the four screen of the CMYK image. We have four screen with all the registration mark here. So guys, what we'll do first, we'll take down this apart and we'll start with this so guys we'll keep this apart and see this all are the four uh, flames what we're going to do so all the procedures is same so we'll start with one flame and the same way you have to do the other flames so any flame you take has start with one and we have to do the same procedure in other ways so guys let's start so first we'll put tape reverse tape in the flame so we'll be putting reverse tape in this flame so let's tape it So guys, we have done the taping on the uh, both side and uh, underside taping in our next film. Now we'll come in the next chapter that is called registration chart. This is called registration chart. A chart where all the frame sizes are there. All the frame sizes are there where you can see the numbering are there in the horizontal line and there are numbering in the vertical line from 1 to 50 and 1 to 23 so and after that you have uh, uh, this small frame bigger frame and smaller frames sizes and plus your printout should come if you are doing a multiple printout it should come in a uh, format where you have registration mark so don't forget to put a registration mark without registration mark you're not able to complete your uh, exposing so now we'll bring the frame and show you the image adjustment after doing reverse tape. So uh, before putting the frame, we need to see the placement where you want to place the image. So here you can see we're placing the image in the middle because always remember you have to keep some space on here you have to keep some space on here so the squeegee can pass easily and some space here so the ink can stay and the squeegee can flow easily so we have put the frame see this is the frame lock we have make a border lock the frame and we'll see it is in the middle once you put it in the middle you, you see the, the registration mark should match to 46 and the middle marks intersect 11 so you have to keep it in your mind that while you are placing the, the image you put in number 46 and number 11 
So guys, uh, now we have taken the film where we have done a both taping. And second thing, we will see what line you have taken. That is easy, 46 and 11. So what we'll do? We'll measure mess the registration mark in 46 and here at 11. Okay. Second thing, no need to match this thing. One on the line and one on the middle is enough. If you have to match this also, then you should know what is the gapping between the uh, the lines. But one side is enough for you to get it straight. So, and always remember, uh, doing like this, it will be better because like this, you see, a little bad, you're not able to know. But if you do properly, it should be in the middle, so it becomes full straight. Suppose you are doing letter, one small letter, print right. So, if it, it will bend, you will not come to know. So, once you print, then you will come to know it is bad. So, if you do it like this, it will be full straight. So, this is a tip. So, guys, you buy this one, it's a very useful thing and a very cheap thing. You can get it in our website. So, uh, you can take it 11, make it full straight, and make it 11 here, full straight, and 46 here, full straight. So, guys, now done. We are ready for the thing. So now we'll take the frame and we'll lock it here and we'll put it down. So guys, see it is done. You can see it is properly done. So like this, how many, how many frame you have? One, two, three. You have four frames. Same way you have to put in like this, we we'll remove this frame, take the second frame, put in 46, 11, tape, put the third frame, put it in 46, 11, tape, and you put the fourth frame, put it 46, 11, and tape. So then also after taping four frame, all the frame will come in the exact same position, exact same length, vertically and horizontally, where in the printing time, you can easily match your colors because all are at the same level, 46, 11, depends on your image size. So this is how you have to do, it's a very easy process. And one more thing, it's a small tip, when you're doing this, don't put it straight, it should be like reverse here it should be straight and here it should be reverse if you not a letter letter you can come to low see it is reverse mirror image here it is correct so if you have image like this then write a letter we write a letter so we won't get confused so straight reverse so guys this is done so guys, uh, I think I have cleared lots of doubt in this video, in a simple manner. So thing is that, whatever you do, you need a simple thing, 4 color, 10 color, 5 color, doesn't matter. You need a registration mark in all the film in the same place, exact place in all the film. Plus, you should have a registration chart. The chart is very helpful. Reverse it up, lock the frame, finish. This much you have to do. To get all your color accurately matched in the same line. So just a small tip you can do easily while you do the color matching. So guys, this is the video where I'm ending it up. If you have any issue or you have not understood anything, do comment us. We'll try to reply you by solving the problem. And if you like the video and you feel it is useful for you, like it. And we'll come up with the next video next time. Till then. Ranveer is signing off. See you. Stay care. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.